My team, it is a growing trend across the country, creating laws to force drivers to focus on the road instead of being fixated with their cell phones. Indiana's hands-free law went into effect last year. However, Kentucky is still slow to change lanes on that. Focus investigator John Charlton is here tonight, hitting the road to show us how widespread distracted driving has become and why a crackdown in Kentucky could soon be down the road. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet already has a safety campaign. Buckle up, phones down. But if you drive around here, clearly many are not getting the message. And too often, that has harmful consequences. More than two years have passed since the crash, but still not everything is fully repaired. Scott Hofstra has permanent nerve damage in his right leg and getting around, especially getting into the driver's seat to get around town are a struggle, but at least he's still with us. Yeah, there are all kinds of hazards. After doctors said he should have died twice. Uh, oops, and there's some of the road surfaces aren't real great either. Road conditions, however, weren't to blame in Vine Grove that day. August 29th of 2019. On State Road 144, coming the opposite way. Gave me no time to hit the brakes at all. On this curve, another driver suddenly crossed into Hofstra's lane. The impact was head on. And he crossed the center line and, and it was wham. And according to the 60 year old, it could have all been avoided if the other driver was just paying attention. In the police report, he even admitted he was distracted driving. His Honda element totaled and Hofstra himself wrecked with a lot of body work needed in the hospital. Although the police report lists inattention as a human factor, Attorney Alex White. So many car wrecks are caused by distracted driving. Of SueDistractedDriver.com fame. We know that it's very dangerous. Says he knows what the official language usually entails. What I hear from clients all the time is, I know they were on their cell phone. I saw the cell phone. And over the course of the last several weeks, Focus saw plenty of drivers more focused on their phones than on the road. For the record and for recording purposes and to avoid being distracted myself, I have my cell phone taped to the driver's side window ready to record. Over on the other side, I have a GoPro pointed out the passenger side window. And all I have to do is hit record on this remote. As an adult, to be on your phone in Kentucky isn't breaking the law unless you're texting and driving. Texting requires you to take your hands, eyes, and mind off of the road. Texting is probably the most dangerous form of distracted driving, in my opinion. But there's nothing in the law about surfing the internet, scrolling through social media, or even watching videos while behind the wheel. I mean, you're putting others at risk for a Facebook profile update or an Instagram post. You'd think that there would be more tickets. According to statewide court records, as of September, there were just over 10,000 violations. That's the grand total for Kentucky over the 11 years since texting and driving became illegal. Compare that with Indiana, there were already more than 7,100 citations issued by October, and that's just in the 15 months since drivers were required to be completely hands-free. They may be trying to play a game. Who knows? Kentucky State Rep James Tipton of Taylorsville believes the reason for low ticket numbers for texting and driving... And a lot of times you see somebody with a phone in their hand, you don't know if 100% certainty what they're doing. ...is that police... ...as technology has changed... ...are basically handcuffed by the current law. That's why he's been trying to expand on that law. Anytime they saw a phone or a tablet device in someone's hand, that person would be subject to a citation. House Bill 255, which Tipton plans to reintroduce, would essentially make Kentucky hands-free. So even holding the phone for a non-emergency call would be illegal. We don't have the freedom to endanger somebody else's life. Joining 24 other states, plus the District of Columbia. That also includes five of Kentucky's seven neighboring states, West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, Illinois, and Indiana. We need to change those bad habits when we're driving. And changing bad habits applies to lawmakers as well. One of the big burdens in the parental consent. During the October 20th committee discussion on abortion, Representative Melinda Gibbons Prunty was driving. So I think this is important that parents know. As well as on her phone and zooming in. All right. Thank you. Drive careful out there, too. Prunty happens to be a co-sponsor on the hands-free bill. <laughs> I'm headed to a ribbon cutting. <laughs>
What Representative Prunty did would be in violation of the same law she supports. Clearly, her actions were therefore inconsistent. So we wanted to give her a chance to explain. Hear how she responds tomorrow at 6. John Charlton, WHAS 11, on your side.